Hi, I'm Kavita, and today is my first time recording a video to share about my story to the world. I'm so excited, and I'll be honest, I'm actually quite nervous as well. But still, like, this is something I've been thinking to do for a few months. And I've been struggling with self-confidence for many years. And I actually came across a quote that says that in our biggest fear lies our greatest growth. So that's what I'm thinking. My biggest fear right now is to speak in front of people, to speak in public, to show my face to the world through social media. That's like the scariest thing right now. So I know I can do it and I know I have so much story to share. Right, so today I'm just gonna share a little bit of myself. I'll start from my favorite word lately, which is manifestation. I'll be honest that I am definitely not the best person out there to talk about manifestation, but I do have my own story to share. And I hope that my story is able to be some motivation for you out there if you are in your path of manifesting to just create a more abundance for yourself and you find that you need some hope to grasp on I do hope that my story can be that for you all right so my first manifestation story that I can remember is this it's related to my family and it happened early this year yes I think it's early this year so it all started when I was attending yogas, yoga sessions in every morning so I saw a girl around my age and she is so fit she's very fit and very toned in a way that I was a bit jealous I was envy of her so it triggered me in a way that I I just couldn't focus on my yoga because I've been staring at her for the whole session and I wanted to be like that I'm like how can a person be so fit and toned and it's something that I wanted to be for a long time and I just can't so I, I ended up real, uh, knowing from my yoga master or like my yoga teacher that this girl, her family background, she is from a family where they are very active in their lifestyle. Means her brother, her mom, her dad, they all work out almost every day. They play sports, they they dance, they, they, they literally hit the gym together as family and they do yoga. So it got me thinking and it got me comparing to me and her because my family is, I would say, is um, similar to majority of uh, Malaysians where our parents, they start working and financially supporting their children in their education and eventually they just put themselves in the second place. They don't really put their health in the first place or maybe like they just don't see that importance of um, working out even though they know but it's just not something that it's very common maybe in my family. So, so what happened is I'm thinking like, I wish to have a family like her. Like I want to have my, my parents and my sisters, my siblings and me, we all just be an, be an active family. Like we work out and we stay healthy, we stay fit, just like the girl that I see that I want to be like her. So in the midst of this jealousy and enviness and also this part of me that's like, how can I do it? How can I do it? Like, how can I get this thing and it came to my mind that 
maybe I could try manifestation, which I've been coming across that for a few months, never really tried. So that was the moment I felt like, okay, why don't I try using manifestation method and see how it goes. Uh, honestly speaking, backstory, I do not know how to do manifestation. Sometimes you just read things online, you read some books, but really doing it is a different thing. So what I did was just the first thing that, that comes into my mind. So I basically just tell myself that, okay, manifestation, in my understanding, is I live in the uh, ending of the story that I want. So I'll just start telling myself that, okay, I'm so happy that I am from a family that is having active lifestyle for years. And I am from a family where my parents, my siblings, and me, myself, we all work out and we are so disciplined, we are so consistent and it's so enjoyable for us to work out. I'll be honest, at the back of my head, my rational part of my mind will be saying that, okay, like, it's not true, it's not been happening, like, none of us have been working out for years. And we have never done that. I, I've never seen my mom work out. I've never seen my mom exercising. But I was just like, okay, like, since I'm going to try that, I'm just going to try that. So I've been, like, trying to repeat that to myself, and I try imagining how would my parents look like, how would my family look like, if we are living a life that we are already having an active lifestyle. The first thing that comes into my mind is they are wearing sports attire. They are having very toned abs. And I was like, okay, just imagine that imagining that picture really makes me feel so good. I was like, wow, like that would be so nice. So I just it immerse myself in that image. I guess it's just like I've, I was really actively doing it for the first few days because it's been in my mind and every time when I think about this sports thing, exercising thing that, and her, the girl that I meet, I'll just like go back to manifestation. I'll just try to think about the picture and telling myself that, okay, I'm so happy all of my family, they're all working out and I'm so proud of them. And eventually I forgot about it. I <laughs> I'm just someone who forget about things very fast. And fast forward to three months after that. There's one day it actually hit me that I was I realized when it really happened for some time that actually my family members, each and every one of them, they are working out. I was so shocked. I was like, okay. My mom is working out. She's literally telling me that she's going to a nearby gym. And the reason she's doing that is because she's hanging out with a group of her friends. And they pass by a karaoke room. And next to it, there's a space, like a quiet space for reading. And beside that reading room, there's a gym. So it just turns out that some of the friends were just in... Um, inviting each other to join, to hit the gym together since they have nothing to do. And they just ended up inviting my mom. And then my mom was like, okay, since everybody's going, I'm just joining. And then the first day, second day, she just joined with them. And then she realized that that reading room is a very comfy place for her to have her morning, like to start her day. And she started going there because she wants to have her own me time in that reading room, reading newspapers. So... And I'll be honest with you, like, I know nothing about it. And the, by the time I know about it, she has been going there for a few weeks already. And then to I have two sisters. So for my elder sister, she, is, she has been struggling with her body image. She has been struggling with uh, working out. And I got to know at that time that she was actually advised by um, a doctor where she actually went for checkup and the doctor suggested her to, to weight lift, which is going to help her with one of her back issues. And then she started hitting the gym because of the advice from the doctor. And for my younger sister, she's doing exercising as well. And she's going to gym as well, which is, hmm. 
So for my younger sister, she's her reason of going to the gym consistently is that she started befriending some people in the place that she's staying. So my sister is in another city working. And my elder sister is in, an, in another city working. They are in different places. My mom is in a different place. And my younger sister ended up following some, some really good looking girls and ladies on Instagram. And that gave her a sudden motivation that she wanted to be like them. So she just decided that, okay, since this apartment that I am renting right now, has some gym why don't i just try to um go there and just start weightlifting and maybe that can be my first step towards having that body that of just like the people that i admire on instagram that's her thought and then she started getting herself ready and she started hitting the gym like without having any prior knowledge about gymming weightlifting and everything she just did it because she wanted to improve on her uh, physics so, with what happened with my mom and my elder sister and my younger sister, by the time I realized it, as I said, it was like one month later, which means that from the day that I actually manifested to the day that each of my family member is working out, exercising consistently, it only took, I believe, the longest is two months. The shortest is maybe five, six weeks, I would say. So that was shocking to me. And you need to know one thing about this manifestation story is that from the moment that I started manifesting this to them doing it, I have never told any one of them, any of my friends, basically I have told no one about this. I kept it within myself and it happened so it was really shocking but then I do feel that that is my first manifestation story where you don't have to tell people what to do you just have to create the picture that you want in your mind you have to feel good thinking about that picture and you have to find a way to make yourself believe that what you see in your mind is true and you have to have positive feelings towards that image that you want to experience and the rest it will just happen you embody that feeling you try your best to make your mind believe that image and things will just happen like I still can't say how much time you need to to manifest different things but I would say that sometimes like really believing in it and then letting it go it works better so that is my first manifestation story and I am not going to edit any of this part of this video I just want to be my true self and well like thank you so much for listening and i really really hope that i have brought you something positive in your first in this 15 minutes that you have been watching my videos thank you so much and love to you guys take care and start manifesting bye bye